I was a single mother. I had a hard time. The best that we can do is be mothers from here. We parent from prison. I'm here for defending my child. One count, I have two assaults, and one is for robbery and assault. I met this guy, and I thought I was in love, and apparently I wasn't. He was into sticking up people, robbing people, and I ended up doing the same thing as him. There was an accident happening in Delancey Street, that's where I'm from. And Chastity was walking and a guy knocked her down and made her bleed. So I started arguing with the man and fighting with the man. And it happened so fast, it was just so fast. I cut his face and then I started running with Chastity in the carriage. And I ran into a, an abandoned building and I stood there till I stopped paving the sirens and the cops and the police and then I left. We were on the run for two days and we got caught and here I am. I've grown a lot in these 14 years. I've changed a lot. I'm not the same person I was when I first came in. When I first got here, I was rebellious. I was angry, I was hurt, and I was just into a lot of trouble. Anita tended when I first got there to not always make the best choices, even though incarcerated. I have watched her not only become an, an incredible mother, she got her GED this year, which was huge. She's been working very hard on that. And I have just seen a real change in terms of her priorities. Well, thank God I have a good relationship with my children. I've raised them from in prison. Writing, pictures, visits, trailers. I have a very good bond with my children. Especially the boys, I think, because they have more memories of me, whereas Chastity was very little, and she doesn't remember much. Chastity is very hurt that I'm in here. She tries not to cry in front of me so that I don't cry, so that I don't be hurt. So she puts her feelings aside for me, which I think is so cute. And I do the same. I try not to cry in front of her so she don't hurt and go home sad. She's doing great in school. She had a little downfall. She was cutting class, smoking weed, but she's on track now, just doing really, really good in school. Her best subject is algebra. Her worst is history. <laughs> I don't like history either. She's doing really, really good. I'm really proud of her. She's come a long way. The program really helped a lot because I get to come and see her. Like, even though it's once a month, it's better than nothing. And she also like can call my school and find out about my grades. I guess it really helps her because she like knows what's going on in school as well. So she doesn't feel like she's not a part of something. What I've seen in Chastity in the past couple of years is somebody who really has not only grown up, but she seems to not be causing her mom so much agita. She seems like a good kid who's got her priorities straight, who's working hard in school, and is really, I think, thriving from the monthly visits that she has with her mother. I still maintain that her mother is still the most consistent person in Chastity's life, even though she's, she's behind bars. It's going good. Like, I always think how bad I used to be, and then I always think about now, and I just say to myself that I'm glad that I changed my ways and making people proud and myself proud. It's about talking about the kids growing up and sex and drugs, what they go through, because we're not the only ones incarcerated, our children, our family are incarcerated as, as well. 
My definition of a mother would be someone who's home, raising their children, not in prison. Taking them out, taking them to the movies, taking them out to skate, taking them out to be a part of their life, their everyday life. When they get sick, to be there. When they can't do their homework, to be there and help them, which I can do now with chastity. And it feels good to be able to do that. It feels really good.